Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, we are doing a little Ulta haul. Your girl really has not been spending a lot of money in general, and I feel like it has been eons since we've done a haul here on my channel, so I figured I would show you guys what I picked up. I really hope that you guys are excited, and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so starting off, I did pick up a few different types of acne spot dots. You guys know I'm a huge fan of those little acne spot dots. So the first one I got was from the brand Peach Slices. These are their original acne spot dots, and you get 30 patches in three different sizes in here. I do enjoy these. They do feel a little bit expensive, but they do work. I also picked up from that same brand their Deep Blemish Micro Darts, and these are supposed to be used on those like under the skin bumps that like take days and days and days to come to the surface and then they like never actually pop and they're sore to the touch. These are actually supposed to eliminate those. I've only used a couple of them so I really don't have a lot of like thoughts to give you on them, but once I finish them up, I'll put them in an empties and then I'll be able to give you kind of like my true thoughts and opinions on them. And then I also picked up these ones from the brand Zit Sticka. These are their go-getter spot clarifying dots. You're getting 36 in here, and now Zit Sticka is actually a very expensive brand, but these were on sale during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, so I figured that's the time to pick them up and try them. So I've only tried a singular Zit Sticka in the past, like literally one, and I feel like I used it on a zit that just like, could not be helped. So hopefully I'll get a better idea of how these work when I start using these ones. Your girl did pick up a few things as of recent from the brand Kitsch. You guys know I love their hair scrunchies and their hair ties. I think they are great. So the first thing I did pick up are these towel scrunchies and they say they are for your sweaty, salty, and wet hair. It does come in a pack of two. I do have one out so I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So this is the um, scrunchie as it is. I thought it was so stinking cute. It is like a microfiber um, material and I really like it. I use this when I get out of the shower and I'm like twisting up my hair to let it air dry for a while. Uh, I've so far been really enjoying it. I am definitely think I'm gonna put one in my beach bag as well, but I think two is definitely all you need. I can't show you the pack that these came in because I took them all out, but your girl also bought a five pack of like silk scrunchies. I really, really like these. I've been wearing these when I go to bed. I do sleep with my hair up in a ponytail like nine out of 10 times because I don't wash my hair very often. So after a while, I don't like to sleep with my hair down. I decided to switch to silk scrunchies for the evening because it's supposed to be better for your hair. And I've really been liking them, have no complaints. I also, on the satin trend, did pick up two of their standard size satin pillowcases. These are obviously just black. Um, these were $20 each, which I felt was a really good way to test out satin pillowcases because there are brands of satin pillowcases that cost hundreds of dollars and I'm too poor for that. So I'm excited to try these out. I am going to like wash them first. It does tell you you need to like hand wash them and like hang them up to dry, which I'm like, mm, that feels a little excessive, but I'm going to do it because, you know, we're here to help the hair, the skin, you know. But I'm excited to try these out. Um, let me know if you guys have any other brands of satin pillowcases that you like that I may need to try in conjunction with that. And so these last items I'm going to show you were actually all recently bought together. Ulta sent me an email that they had like certain items like 50% off and I was like, ooh, say less. And then I got a couple free items in there that I'll show you guys as well. Um, first thing I bought that was not on sale, but it is from the Kitsch brand, are some more of their cotton face masks. This is a pack of all black. I have another pack of all black, and then I have another one that was like a gray one, a white one with um, black dots, and then like a tan and black um, tie-dye type of one. I love these masks. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I think they're like 12 bucks for three, which feels pretty decent in price, but I think they are so comfortable to wear. They're so easy to clean. I haven't had any problems with mine fall falling apart or anything. The little ear band is super stretchy, so it doesn't pull or tug at your ears. I really like them, and I don't think they make my face break out, which is really great considering I literally have to wear a face mask at least 80% of my time. So I really, really enjoy those. Highly recommend. The next thing I bought, because it was on sale, girl, was a giant giant bottle of my Batiste uh, Divine Dark Dry Shampoo. I never buy my dry shampoo from Ulta because I think it's too expensive, like way too overpriced. 
but this was like an extra large bottle compared to the one I can normally get at Walmart. This is the kind I normally get at Walmart. This is like 10 fluid ounces and this was 13, uh, almost 13 and a half. And I get this for $10 and this was on sale for 12. So I was like, ooh, say less, add to cart. Next thing I also bought was a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I got the Deep Bronzer shade. I am so excited to try this out, you guys, because I used to use the Butter Bronzer, the original, all the time back in the day. Like, if you go to, like, some of my very first videos on YouTube, this is, like, the only bronzer I'm using in the original shade. I love it so much. And I ran out of it. You know, eventually things go bad and you use them all up. And I had so many bronzers that I was like, I don't really need it. And do I still really need it? Like, technically, no, my bronzer drawer is pretty full. But I've been really wanting to try it. It was 50% off. And so I was like, add to cart. The next thing I picked up was actually a product for my most recent Yas or Paz video, and that is actually the NYX and Tetris liners. These were five liners for 30 bucks, and I thought it was such a great deal. I really am excited to try these colors, if you guys can see them. I think they are going to be so great. I'm just super excited to add these to my collection and then just start playing with them. So I was like, girl, let me just go ahead and get it. The last things that I bought were actually three setting sprays. These are the Milani Make It Last setting sprays. If you are not new to my channel, you guys know I love the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I think it is one of the best setting sprays you can get at the drugstore. I've used the original one and they came out with the setting spray in three different scents. So I got the mango coconut, which I think is the one I'm most excited about, <laughs> the kiwi watermelon, and the dragon fruit peach. In general, these are about $10 a piece, and I think I got them for like six bucks with the sale because I was like, I don't really need three more setting sprays because I think I have three in my drawer right now, but I was like, I really wanted to try them, and they were on sale, and so I was like, it's justified. I'm doing it anyways. So those were all the things that I bought, and then like I mentioned, um, I added all these things to my cart, right? And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna think on it. I don't know that I need, like, need to buy anything, whatever. And so then I come back to my email that night and because it was like later in the evening, Ulta was doing like a promotional thing where because it was so late, if you went ahead and bought the stuff for like a certain number of dollars, then you got free gifts. And I was like, say less. So for a free gift, I got some stuff from Frank Body. Let me open this little bag. Which you guys, if you've been with me for a minute, you know I love their um, coffee body scrubs. And so the first thing I got was actually this like booty, like butt, booty sleep mask. It's actually got little butts on the back, which I think is so stinking cute. Now I probably won't actually use this at all. I'll probably just put this in my giveaway pile, but I was like, it's free. Thank you, add it to my cart. The things I was most excited for was this three pack of stuff, however, and they sent a um, one of their body scrubs, this is a mini size. This is a coconut coffee scrub. Super excited about this. I can never have enough body scrub. They sent over their um, caffeinated scalp scrub, which I have never tried. You guys know how I feel about putting stuff on my scalp in my hair, but I'm excited to try it, so I figured why not? And then it also came with their lip tint in the shade Cherry Bomb. And I've never tried this either. So I'm actually, I want to open it and see what it looks like. Because I'm interested to see. Ooh, it's like in a squeeze in tube. Ooh. I'm excited to try it out. So I figured why not? It was all free. Give me a couple new things to try out and something I already know I like. But yeah, you guys, that is all for today's video. That is everything that I have recently picked up from Ulta. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, definitely give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you hit that notification bell, you will never miss an upload from me. And last but not least, you can also come follow your girl on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!